Hello everyone, I am Zolkers and welcome back to Firewatch. Now I'm thinking I do need to go back down south and maybe find something around here to go up. Maybe there's like a path near cave 452. So I want to skip ahead until I get back there, look around until like I find my way out and if there's anything interesting that happens I'll be sure to uh, throw that in here. I think I may have found the way. Um, there's a small little area here I can go to. Yes. Wait, no. Damn it! This is where I was. Ah, open! Knock down the sign. <laughs> can I climb this? Oh my gosh. Really? That's all I had to do. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm through it now. That puts me just a little bit north of uh, my tower. Uh, wow, what the f There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. Oh, God. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. <laughs> it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was interesting. Oh, that view is awesome. Sun setting, the storm rolling in. Oh, wow, that's... Seems like it's going to be a fun night. I kind of want to talk to that guy. But he might be a murderer. I think if he's up here, this job is a little bit exhausting. Kind of glad the guy wasn't just standing like right there. I would have been a little freaky. Hey man, can I enter a few of these uh, cupcakes I made? I feel like my guy is going to fall down one of these rocks. I'm doing a lot of climbing. Okay, you fell forward. Good. Damn it. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was <laughs> backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. <laughs> uh, all right, good old home. Bear Tooth Point and the lookout. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Get a note, Delia. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... But my hair dryer! Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Oh, uh, what's in here? Mm. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. Ah, I threw you! That was a weak throw. 
So that guy's not gonna be like up in my outhouse or my uh, tower, is he? Is that would be kind of sucky. Um. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Now, I'm not liking this at all. Oh my! Ah! Oh. Someone broke in. They what? They just—they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. God damn it! Place is trashed. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? Hmm. Girls. Probably a guy. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. <laughs> Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? Yeah, yeah. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I'll take grenades. All right, day number two. Hopefully, I can get my uh my tower in order. Wake up. Yep, I'm awake. Hey, wake up. <sighs> Fine, I'll talk to you. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Mm. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. So, if you want to read this, go ahead and pause, but I am not going to. 20-sided dice. Old paper. Oh, it's not like... Dungeons and Dragon things. Hey guys, this is the next best campaign if you play in D&D. Take notes. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Uh, that sounds erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. <laughs> Doom Canyon. Two orcs slayer. Oh, this is like... 
this area, but kind of like mapped out into a D&D thing. Dire Beartooth Point. The witch's house. They were there yesterday. Alright, let's go figure out what's wrong with the uh, power lines. Probably that one guy. Maybe uh, maybe he cut them or something. Uh, I still love that. The arm grabbing onto it as he's going down. That is not a smart way to jump down a cliffs. Ah, oh, fuck, yeah. Very ominous. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh... Talk about my oh, yeah. bar. Boring, if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. Why don't you go anymore? <sighs> I took this job. Oh, <laughs> duh. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Huh? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. He's gonna listen. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. <sighs> That's very hey, ominous. Sorry about that. Anyway, if there's anyone or anything you want to talk about, fire away. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Yeah, I annoyed her. But I like talking to her. But that was just very ominous. Just... <sighs> I don't think he has any idea. That he's going to be murdered... bloodily... in the night. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Fair enough. Hey, I can see your tower. Suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. Can't you see the damn wire? Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Alright. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Uh, I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. <laughs> uh. Oh, another cash. Yep, uh, more beer cans. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. How can these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Fair enough. 
long jump down? Uh, probably means I can't get back easily. I want to go this way first because this seems like the safer route to go, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to go the other way. This way? Nope. I can totally climb that. That is like so easy. Yeah, copy down this information. Dave, hey, oh, I got your note about needing to wait. Got your note about needing to talk and sorry if you didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day for you to be out near the cannon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyways. We're co-workers, you know? Amigos. Professionals. If you need someone to th throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not that great with the like stuff. You get it. Cool. Hey, who are these guys Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> All right, um, Oop, invisible wall. Hey, now, we don't like invisible walls. I feel like if you need to put invisible walls in a game, you're not making the game correctly. I mean, there, there's some times that might be good. Like in Fallout 4, it's not too bad because most of the invisible walls are around the entire map. And... You know, they might have like a little fence around the outside border so you can kind of get that idea. I mean, you can kind of jump over them, but then that just says you can't go that way. And it's like, oh, okay. But like an invisible wall there, that's just, just, just pit like a little canyon where it's like impossible to, uh... to get out. Hey, there's my tower. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Ah. Oh. Clean up your damn stuff. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make I can definitely do that. Costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. Hmm. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. So I definitely... I think it's the girls, being that there's panties that say go to hell, and probably has my face on it. Not sure why they would just leave their panties there, and not something else, but... 
But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I um I'm really enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.